Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you another benchmark test, this time from the Acer A110. The Iconia tab with Android 4.1 in it and a Tegra 3 processor with 1 gig of RAM. So, let's check it out. Uh, first we'll go to N22 benchmark tester. And the version's up to date. Let's go through... Nope, just wanted to go through the info, but we'll do that on the next one. Actually, we'll do that now. Let's check out the info for the device. All right, we have a brief spike. You know what, we'll go through on Quadrant better, just does a better job at that. All right, now let's check it out. And let's start the test. Yeah, first we are doing in Tutu, then we will do Quadrant, and then we will do Geek Benching. And try to turn everything off so this should test out at its best. It's not the CPU. And two two added jelly beans to the bouncing androids. It's kind of cool. Looks like they got rid of the frames per second, though. Definitely looks like more graphic intensive though than before. Oh, there the frames per second go. I want to play this game. <laughs> and for a second, it doesn't look like it's doing too well on the low one, but we'll see. The main competitors for these tests should be the Nexus 7 as well as the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 if you're uh, going for benchmark tests. Kindle will be a slower benchmarks and uh, as well as uh, the iPad will do uh, a little bit lower as well in comparison. Well, it might do comparable to this. It wouldn't do comparable as much as some of the other ones. Okay, finishing with the SD card reading. All right, and that is its score, 13751, GPU 5265, CPU 5859, RAM 1836, and I/O 791. Uh, let's submit that. And let's see the charts and the bar. All right, so in comparison to other devices, this looks to be um, above the Prime, not as good as the One X Plus, which again has the Tegra 3 quad core. However, that one does have a better Tegra 3. It's a 1.7 uh, processor in comparison. 
So um, not on par with uh, a lot of today's standards, but still very well uh, in comparison to even being at the prime. So it's it's really good for um, a device overall. So that's going to be for the Intuitu. Now let's go to Quadrant. All right, and here we'll go through the in-depth system info. So we'll check it out. And you can see version as well as the CPU 1.2, max frequency 1.3. You have four cores. Architect is the ARM7. And for the graphics, you have an NVIDIA. And there we are. All right. And now let's run the full benchmark test. So you can see the frames per second on here. Something I do like about Intuitu, it has a much bigger frames per second, so you guys can keep up with it. And so this one puts it right on par with the Prime. Um, lower than the One X, um, Quadrant really just does have some older ones So, Or maybe this is the only ones that are around um, its count. Um, but yeah, really just some older devices. However, um, it's right around the Prime again on here and uh, lower than the One X instead of the One X Plus on here. Um, I kind of just think Quadrant needs to update theirs, but we'll see. All right, that was Quadrant's test, and now Geekbench 2. All right, does have the correct system information. Now let's go and see. Now, Bench 2 is known because it runs off of both platforms, so it can actually uh, be put on iPads as well. So that's one of the things it's uh, mainly known for, that it's on both platforms. <coughs> Unfortunately, we don't get to see any cool animations on this one. As we do with some of the others. Alright, and that is the end of it. So, it is at 14.57 all around. Um, let me zoom in so you can see the individual scores. There you are. One thing I don't like about the bench one is it doesn't really show you how it compares right off the bat. Let's upload it. Yeah, sign in, sure. So yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about this one is that it doesn't really compare it right away. So 
So, yeah. Alright, guys. Well, that has been all of them. All the main benchmark tests. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-A-C-K-Y, the Android guy.